If you're looking for ultimate team coins under £2 per 100k, then go check out gofifacoins.com and use my discount code GUNA to get yourself 5% off. What's up guys, Gunas to here, bringing you another informed player review and today we are reviewing third informed Jermaine Defoe. He is going absolutely nuts playing for Toronto, scoring goals all over the shop and that's why he's got a third in form. And guys, if this video can get to 200 likes, that'd be absolutely amazing. And also make sure you follow me on Twitter. There is still giveaways going on. The popper one is ending tonight, but I'll do another one very soon to get following. So he's five foot seven, medium, medium work rates, right footed. He's got a freestyle weak foot and skill moves. I've put the hunter chemistry style to him as well. Cost me just under 20K. 14 goals, 6 assists in 9 games. Absolutely outstanding. So how does he compare to his original card? I've gone for the Toronto one there. So he's defending and his pace have gone up by 3, heading by 4, passing and dribbling by 7, and the shooting the biggest increase going up by 8, which is what you'd want for your striker. Then we have a look at the standouts there. Dribbling 88, finishing 98. They should have just put 99. Long shots 95 as well. Shot power 98, volleys 93. It's all about the shooting. Don't know why they didn't put him to 99. He can only play as a striker. Short at 5 foot 7, weighs 143 pounds, so he is lightweight. And then you can see 67 strength isn't great, but it's an improvement. Acceleration and sprint speed, both in the upper 80s. Balance 99, agility 94. You know what? It's decent. That's where he stands out, his physical attributes, apart from the strength. And then he's got 83 attacking position as well. So what are my expectations of this third inform card? Well, I actually reviewed his first inform and I liked it. And there's just a few concerns, you know. And I gave him an 8.5 out of 10. So he had another inform, I left that one. But I thought looking at this third inform, I would get involved and see what he's all about. And you know what? He didn't disappoint me. This guy was just absolutely amazing in terms of he exceeded my expectations. Excellent there, you know, did a great job. You can't do anything about his height. You can't do much about his strength because he's lightweight as well. He's never going to suddenly go up to 99 strength. So those are issues. You know, the free star weak foot and the free star skill moves are not going to change either. Those are things that no upgrade is going to change, unfortunately. But if you take those things to one side, then you know you've got yourself a fantastic striker. This guy was a pocket rocket. That's what I'll call him because he's absolutely amazing. Always in the right place at the right time. Quick enough to get in behind to test defenders. Can win you headers if he's a free man as well. But his shooting is just amazing. He's always in the right place at the right time. And you know, if anything drops around the box, then he's going to be there. He's got enough shot power to beat the keeper, enough accuracy as well. Keepers don't stand a chance when he's there. And the thing I loved about him as well is how cheap he is. Only under 20k. That's amazing. Under 20k for this kind of player is absolutely amazing. And you'll see by this last one here, you'll see that, you know, there again, the ball comes off. Drops straight to him. Absolutely amazing. That is what I'm talking about. So it's fantastic pace. You know, the pace feels almost he should have 90 pace. Feels quick, but maybe it's because he's small as well. His finishing and his long shots, absolutely amazing. The dribbling, movement, just his quality gets him behind. He's so cheap, under 20k right now. And he's a natural poacher. He will finish those chances in the box when the ball's bouncing around. He will always be where you want him to. The things I don't really like about him, he's not the tallest, so he's never going to win you much in the air. The medium reading work rates can mean he's a little bit reluctant to get up with play as well. He's not going to be the strongest because you know he's just a lightweight and he's not going to do much about that. And that freestyle weak foot can be a little bit of a lottery. It's a shame it wasn't four or more. Overall, I give him a nine out of 10. A big improvement as well from his other cards and I gave his first and former 8.5 out of 10. So hopefully you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like below, comment, subscribe and as always, thanks for watching.